Currently, I'm filming a separate video, and I'm running into the AMD Ryzen Master Thread Exception Not Handled blue screen whenever I load into Windows. So I swap hardware around a lot on this channel, obviously, and every now and then you'll come across a motherboard or CPU that'll give you this message. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So say you just had a Ryzen CPU in the system and you loaded all the drivers and then you switch over to an Intel motherboard and it gives you this message. So it's loading, it loads, blue screen, thread exception not handled, AMD Ryzen Master Driver Sys. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So first off, you want to get into safe mode. And to do that, you just want to let it boot loop a few times and it'll eventually give you the blue message. Windows couldn't load properly. Obviously, it has to fail a few times. So after it fails to boot a few times, it'll give you this recovery mode message. Just want to select uh, advanced repair options, go to troubleshoot, and then advanced options, startup settings, and hit restart. So now it'll ask you which kind of safe mode that you want to boot into. I just go ahead and boot into uh, just regular old safe mode. That way it won't load any drivers because the AMD Ryzen Master driver is what is causing it to blue screen. It tries to run it. Obviously you don't have all those Ryzen threads. It crashes. So once you're in a Windows, just type in device manager. So once you're in device manager, you want to go up to the top and hit view and then show hidden devices. When you show hidden devices, it'll show all of the CPU cores that are no longer on this motherboard or hard drive. I don't know. It's just all of the cores that you've ever connected to this hard drive. It's going to show. And sometimes it's a lot of cores. So now what you have to do is you have to go through and uninstall all of these devices one by one. It really sucks. I was dumb enough to attach a 5950X to this thing and there's 32 cores I have to delete. So some might say just to uninstall Ryzen Master, it doesn't actually like to install. Like I've tried it and it doesn't seem to uninstall and like actually work. Like it'll just have some weird driver left behind no matter what. I found this to be the most guaranteed way of getting rid of that blue screen when you plug in a different CPU. Again, not all Intel motherboards or Intel CPUs will do this. I'm not sure if it's a motherboard or CPU issue. I feel like it's more of a motherboard issue because I've had it before where the same CPU will act up on different motherboards, but motherboard A won't act up, but motherboard B will. So this has just been the way we've found to fix it here at Coilwine. All right, so after you're done deleting all of those cores, you wanna to go to uninstall. So add or remove programs. I misspoke here. Go ahead and uninstall Ryzen Master if you have it installed. So after you've deleted all of those CPU cores, you wanna go into your C drive, program files, and then delete the AMD folder. Just, bye. Empty the recycling bin, because why not? Now you can restart the computer. And just like that, the AMD Ryzen thread exception, whatever garbage, blue screen will no longer pop up. Now I have tried to get rid of just the AMD folder without deleting the, the CPU cores. And I think Windows will go in and then like try to reapply those or something if you're connected to the internet. So if you're not connected to the internet, then maybe you can get away with just deleting those AMD files. But if you have the AMD files on there and none of the cores, it will also give you that blue screen. So delete the file, delete the cores, and just like that, there's no more message. So if you have a blue screen that you can easily duplicate, you know exactly how and why it happens, let us know in the comments. I'd love to make a video about it to help other people out. If you're having problems with a blue screen, you know, hop in the Discord, let us know. We'll, we'll definitely try to help you troubleshoot it. And like always guys, get subscribed and we'll see you next time.